did you were did you say goodbye to her? I thought I saw you guys exchange a few words as you left, but I, I wasn't sure. Did you have a few words with her before you left the house? Um, I did not hug her goodbye like I did all the other house guests or shake their hands. Um, but as I was leaving, she did shout to me that she, she said, Ronnie, I have no ill will towards you. And I think she started to say, I'm sorry or something. I don't know what that was. But I know for a fact she said, Ronnie, I have no ill will. And I did tell her to be quiet or shut up. I didn't want to hear it or something to that effect. I missed that. Yeah, that was like right when I was exiting the door before I said, and scene. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, we, we caught that. Ronnie, you had um, spent the night beforehand with um, Natalie and Jesse and Shima yeah. and Russell. And, uh, you know, you were, she Michelle had hid your glasses yeah. and your hat. Yeah. And you had a standoff in the room with Michelle. Yes, we did. Um, were you p really planning on throwing a bucket of water on her? Um... That was something we had discussed, and I know Natalie and Jesse were trying to egg me on to do it, but ultimately in my mind, I, I knew I was not going to do it because that is extremely childish and it's taken it to a whole different level that it didn't have to go to, which is why it never happened. Well, I'm glad you recognize that uh, Jesse and Natalie were doing the egging. I'm, I'm glad you recognize that because I think yeah, I you might have saved yourself a little bit of trouble if you had you played for Ronnie and not so much for Jesse, do you do you, do you Ronnie, feel the same way? Wasn't it, uh, Ronnie, well, wasn't the H or the diary room who told you not to do that? Huh? Wasn't it the diary room who told you not to do that? He actually can't talk about production elements, guys. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, sorry. but I can say ultimately it was my decision not to do it. It was my decision not to do it. But in response to your question about the playing for Jesse. When I was mm -hmm. HOH, which is the only time I had any kind of say or power, of course, I made the decision to go after Laura based on her going around saying I was the puppet master and the manipulator of the season. And it just coincidentally happened that Jesse wanted Laura out and I wanted Laura out. But, I mean, for, don't think for one second, if I honestly thought this is the only chance for Russell and this is what's best, I would have done it because I would have. It's just I felt that time, and obviously Russell caused my eviction. It was a miscalculation, but at that time, based on the information I had, I really thought Laura was the best option. Well, okay, that's you know, Ronnie, and I again, you know, maybe we're we're throwing some a little bit of hard balls at you, but we we're we're glad you're answering them fairly, and you know, good for you. Um, another question I have for you is, how do you feel about Jeff winning? power. Uh, I'm sorry, you broke up. Jeff winning the coup d'etat? Yes. Um, well, actually, the moment that the mystery power was announced, I did say to Jesse, Natalie, Shima, and pretty much the entire house that I thought Jeff and Jordan stood the best chance of winning it because they have that broad appeal. And, you know, people like underdogs and Jeff, this is not my words. This is Jeff and Jordan's words. They themselves said they do not know what they're, they do not know what they're doing in this game. They do not know how to play it. They do not know how to strategize. They are simply going moment to moment, week to week, as they have to. So they said they needed it, and they do. And that's great that he won it. I hope he uses it for the best. Hey, Ronnie. Hey, guys. Last know. question. I'm sorry. Okay, that's good. Fine. We Ronnie, we know that you're um, a Big Brother fan, um, and you have talked a lot about how you're being perceived by America. Mm -hmm. How do you think that your America perceives you? Um, being that you've been out of the house for, you know, a, half of a day. Do you have any <laughs> idea? Well, I mean, I knew before I even left the house that with me, you know, using lying and manipulation as my tactic, and especially with the last 72, 96 hours, and the night before my eviction with Michelle, I'm sure there was not a lot of positivity out there, and people, I mean, if they supported Jeff and Jordan, I did backstab them, so I'm sure there's going to be a lot of you know, backlash in regard to that. But, I mean, the thing about it is this. Whenever you're sitting, and I, and the thing about it is I used to even do this, being an Uber fan myself, whenever you're watching the show, you really cannot appreciate just how difficult it is to be under the pressure inside that house and have to make split-second decisions. And all you know is people's behavior and what they say and do in that house. And sometimes, for all you know, they're doing and saying things that you don't even realize. 
So you make the best decisions you can. And does the fact that I use lying manipulation as a tactic in the house make me a bad person? No, it just meant that that's what I did in the house. I mean, because outside the house, I volunteer time with children's groups. I work extremely well with children. And my wife is an educator. I'm soon to be an educator myself. And I love just volunteering, care, being a caring, compassionate person who always tries to see positivity in people and situations. Well, thanks for coming on our show. Thanks for your time, Ronnie. Thank you.